Today we are going to clear all cache from Windows 10, 11 or any other computer. It's very easy and make sure you watch the whole video. After clearing all cache from your computer, the performance of your computer will be way better than earlier and it will load faster. So let's get started. So for that, press window key and R key together, R as in Romeo, and you will get this run window. And here we need to type prefetch. Once you type prefetch, hit OK. And, and it will ask for a permission. You just need to click on continue. Just select any of the file. Press Control A and it will select all file. And you just need to press Shift and Delete key on a keyboard. So why we are pressing Shift and Delete just to permanently delete these junks, these cache from the computer. So once you select that, just click on yes and we will be able to delete this. Once this is done, again we will press window and R key together and this time we will type temp, T-E-M-P, temp and we just need to click on OK. It will open up a new window. Now this is a very clean computer. It doesn't have too much junk created by the system. But still I have some. So I'll select any of the file, press Control A and the same thing, Shift Delete. And gone. The temp folder is used by many applications. They leave leftover junks there. So we need to remove those. So once this is done, press again the Window and R key and this time we will type percentage temp percentage. Once you type it, hit OK. This is a, another location where we have a lot of encrypted junk which is there. All these files are not created by you. This is absolutely not required and we can remove it. We can delete it. It's absolutely safe. So select any of the file, press Control A and then Shift Delete. So slowly and gradually we are removing all the junk and making the computer faster. So some of the file may not get deleted. So that is absolutely fine. You can leave as it is. Just select do all these four current items and skip it. So for few files, few folders will not get deleted because those files are being used by some programs. So that is fine. You can leave that. Once this is done, the last step which we need to do is for that press window and R and this time we will type clean MGR. It's clean MGR. And guys, if you have not subscribed and hit the like button for this video, I would really appreciate if you smash that like and subscribe button for me, please. So once you have typed clean MGR, hit OK. And this will select, this will open up disk cleanup drive selection. So here by default C drive is selected where the operating system is installed. So I'll just select that and click on OK. And once we are in this window, select all these check marks, recycle bin, temporary files, thumbnails, delivery optimization files, temporary internet files. Please make sure you have do the check mark on all and then hit OK. So in this manner, you will be able to wipe out all the junks and your computer will be cleaner. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day.